I mean, maybe. It might be something we could do. What were you saying, Vance? I was going to say, this is a really good way for, honestly, just a test run in general. So for those of you guys wondering back at home, like how this will work in future iterations of the ladder here. Of course, we'll see how things go as things time on. Like you said, Z-Fly, the two top seeds are currently playing in this opportunity right now. So in the future, this may not be how things go. But nonetheless, here it is April Gabriel versus Pokemon. Yeah, of course, we're not going to go back and change the bracket as it is currently. But uh, interesting note about about Epic Gabriel. So Rob apparently had a uh, one of, if not the highest win rate during the uh, the ladder. Yeah, Rob is one of the characters that I tell people he was already a threat in offline, but in online he's an even bigger threat. And just guys kind of goes to show with the rate of Epic Gabriel and players like Ape and Man in general of how strong they are with the character. That is a really good read, sensing that Pokemon is actually going to try to might possibly try to stall himself there with a the Lloyd Rocket and go for a far deep recovery. Yeah, with both players being at one, uh, two stocks apiece, still fairly even. Lloyd in hand, that's going to make it very difficult for Epic Gabriel to oh. set up those traps. Oh, but unfortunately, he, the gyro coming in and knocking Gabriel on its dome, a uh, little unfortunate for Poké Lamb because you know that Poké Lamb wanted to keep it pocketed so that yeah. Poké Lamb could avoid these traps. But hey, Poké Lamb able to make it back. Porch Villager with those, with like the good recovery, able to not necessarily have a hitbox, but maneuver very easily around his opponent. At this opportunity here, I do notice that Epic Gabriel is really cautious about how he has Pokelam in disadvantage. Even if he is winning in disadvantage, he's looking to see how Pokelam picks his options and then punishes accordingly. So like in that opportunity, he went for a stall in the back air, trying to see how Pokelam was gonna use any opportunity here. And then he guessed right. And it was going to be the Lloyd yet again. And then he punishes the Lloyd by also reflecting it, but trying to also get Pokelam in the same situation. Yeah, that was just bad news to Pokelam in so many ways. Not only having your projectile knocked back at you, but then having a multi-hit attack swinging at your face. <laughs> but Pokelam able to clean up the stock, and here we go again. Game one, one stock apiece. Pokelam hiding behind Arbor Day trees. Oh, but getting sniped with a laser, okay. Showing that Epic Gabriel is uh, very aware at the angles he needs to shoot these lasers to be a threat to short characters. Yeah. Characters like Rob have a really good time against shorter characters at certain situations because, like you said, you're able to actually angle laser and then force opportunities in neutral with gyro. And then, of course, having one of the best jabbing tools in the game, which with that down tilt in general, is really good. Oh, for sure. Here we go. Interesting enough, I'm waiting for Epic Gabriel to, like, land on Poké Lamb with the Nair to try and get a, a follow-up, but... Oh, he just keeps like air dodging into Poké Lamb. That's so scary for me because that's that was the opportunity that Poké Lamb needs to essentially like F smash and yeah. kill Epic Gabriel. And you can tell that Poké Lamb is taking opportunities with the tree, with the axe. He's looking for ways to get in on Gabriel. Even when Gabriel makes an approach like there, he'll set up himself in a really good whiff punish range to get the back air. So Poké Lamb definitely also adjusting Epic Gabriel as the two play on. And as I say, the adjustments there, that was really good because he was able to set the Lloyd to cover the ground. And then also able to get the out smash to cover Gabe in the air. Pokeland taking game one. Telling you, these air dodges into Pokelam are going to ruin Epic Gabriel. I already saw Pokelam abuse the uh, the recovery frames of air dodge to the ground. And I unless Epic Gabriel stops it, Pokelam's is gonna keep those anti-air tools available. And uh, I think, we, you know, that's what's going to allow Pokélam to get a 2-0. Yeah. All right, well, Pokélam here. First point on the board. Epic Gabriel yet to have a shot. We'll see how things go. Uh, honestly, both players played really strong. Gabriel wasn't too far behind. He kind of had Pokélam going for the first part. We'll see if he can keep that strength going here in the second match. Oh, okay, double here's... Nair, too, off the platform. What a play. And he keeps Epic Gabe here at the ledge. But that's the one thing I like about Pokelam, too. He's really aware of specifically how he's going to edge guard a character like Rob, knowing how the character normally tends to come from ledge. Yeah, even abusing just, like, the fall, the, the slight knockback, the slide off from the platform, making that integrable situation, allowing the, an additional follow-up with Nair. Unfortunately for Pokelam, Nair doesn't do a lot of damage, so even though you saw a sick conversion, 
Uh, it was only like 30%. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know, just keep... Those are the conversions that you keep uh, racking up, and they will slowly add up for sure. As you can see, Pokelamp having a little bit of difficulty getting back to the stage and staying grounded. Speaking of grounded, Epic Gable able to escape the down smash. Yeah, excellent matchup too. Also, I did like the pressure he was able to play with Robo Arms, but unfortunately, the air dodge will not be Air enough. dodge! Air dodge! <laughs> Stop it! It's a, it's a good tool. It's something that you're used to seeing in the online space just because the way the air dodge works in this game, it's also able to allow you to tech on the stage, tech out the platform, you can even tech out off the stage when you're going for the stage tech itself. I'm going to say, I'm going to just take like the a wild shot and say that that was supposed to be an air dodge that was a little bit earlier because it did pop Epic Gabriel above the ledge. Yeah. That's not prime position for any character. All right, Gabe, though, looking to fight his way towards center stage. And that's what I kind of like, too. When he looks to land, he looks to slowly fight his way back center stage. Doesn't try to overcommit for any kind of aerial or any kind of projectile just yet. And that's where he finally gets the opportunity here with the gyro. And then he has center stage, gets the forward air, and now he's trying to lock Pokelam out of the stage itself, especially with where the gyro has been placed. Yeah, he was trying to get the double team, the left and the right combo going back and forth between with Pokelam in the center. But luckily for Pokelam, Lloyd Rocket comes out very fast and was able to knock Epic Gabriel out of that oh, scenario. Oh no, and the roll. Another, catching the roll, catching the roll with some fireworks and let those fireworks rain. Pokelam is up a stock. Yeah, but I have to give it a Pokelam. He set himself up oh. really well there because he did go for the Lloyd Rocket, forcing Gabe to evaluate that option of a roll. Oh, what a great nice stage tech. tech. Game yeah, that, was a trap that, uh, that was a trap that Pokelam had to be prepared for. Obviously, Epic Gabriel was spinning at the ledge. There was no way to avoid that this, in that point. But uh, still, even after surviving for a little bit longer, the up throw from Epic Gabriel is going to even up these stocks once again. We have a similar situation to game one. Yeah. Forward air. Nice. Gets back to center stage. That's the one feeling Epic Gabriel is looking forward to. Is honestly keeping that center stage in his hands, but also understanding that once he's got Pokelam in the corner, there are some setups that he can go for. Forward air, no conversion off the gyro, but I still like that he keeps that in mind and he gets the gyro out of Villager's hands. Mm -hmm, and there's the the jump from the ledge. We see that option many times from Epic Gabriel. Not really seeing Pokelam call it out uh, here in game two. Instead, just taking out time to set up traps, especially with the tree at the ledge. Still a very cool tool have. It's always something that oh, he can retreat to. But the spinny arms coming in clutch for Epic Gabriel. Yeah, coming in clutch. But that was also a good punish. Looking to see how specifically Pokemon to use that Lloyd Rocker. Like I said, I feel like he's been doing a pretty good job understanding it now, especially the way that. Pokelam has been using Lloyd Rocket previously. He forced Gabe for a roll. He either used it to stall his recovery. He used it to force Gabe to hold his shield. There's a lot of things that Gabe has definitely come to understand of how Pokelam uses roll. I'm sorry, not roll, uh, Lloyd in, as a whole. And then at that uh, situation, when he knew the time was right, he looked to punish it accordingly. And he puts 1-1 on the board. Yeah, you're right. I mean, let's just really see what the what Pokelam's going to do when it comes to the adjustment for Game 3. Honestly, I felt like Pokelam was letting Epic Gabriel get away with too many uh, nares to the stage. Yeah. Like, it was very obvious that, that Epic Gabriel was going to be nearing into center stage. It could have been some type of challenging, especially from a distance, because uh, while the nair from Rob is very good, it is... A move that you have to commit to and it does last quite a bit like it has yeah. a very for, for a nair i think it has a longer one of the longer animations one, yeah one of the longer animations for sure big hitbox lasting hitbox as well but also the way that it just lasts in general you have to really be careful with rob especially on that nair when he comes back on the stage or when he's looking to carry you off the stage as well All right, Gabe using the jet boost here to kind of find his way back on the stage to land. He's got the Lloyd in play. No throw here, but Pokemon definitely having the upper hand so far. 70% and looking to confirm off the Lloyd Rocket. 
Mm -hmm. And now with platforms only really on the side of uh, side of the stage, it's going to eliminate the approach from Epic Gabriel to really abuse those platforms and allow him to get to center stage. Now, if he wants to get to center stage, pretty much has to fight for it. But there we go, the double down tilt into side B, the spinny arms coming in, doing a ton of damage, but Epic or Pokelam able to make it back to ledge. Yeah. Good on Gabe to still go for that downer, even though you know you're going to be hitting the balloons. It, it'll just make that downer last a little bit longer, but he is able to get the get up on Pokelam. He's got three stocks in peace here to Pokelam. If Pokemon is looking for a recovery or a landing, it's going to be right here at this opportunity. Uh, of course, here we go. Spacing out the nares, trying to land on Pokelam. I'm waiting for the opportunity, the moment where Pokelam pulls the trigger and decides to cash in with a huge anti air. Yeah. AE, AE, oh. that up smash. So close to it at that time, but narrowly missing it. This opportunity here, yeah, Gable got the forward air, looking to stop the landing on the platform. Gable, like I said, look at the way he plays. He takes his time to try to get back on the stage. Doesn't go for anything too extreme where he has to worry about the land lag. He's just looking to get his feet on the ground and then take it from there. Mm -hmm. Here we go, charging up. Charging up the Lloyd. Nice double jump here to get away from all the forward airs. Pokelem still keeping up the pressure just a little bit here. 147 to Gabe. If Pokelem's gonna take the stock, it's gotta be now. Like I said, Gabe on the pressure too. Look at the size of that shield. Yeah, Pokelem really needs to end this stock soon. Epic Gabriel is slowly chipping away at Pokelem. Oh, and there's a directional air dodge. That was the opportunity. That was the green light. And unfortunately, unable to pull the trigger. Yeah, Gabe had the green light there on the down throw up air, but unfortunately narrowly missing it. Poke Lam at 110. If anybody has a green light to win this set so far, it's Epic Gabriel with his three stocks and Poke Lam on his last two at 110, and Epic Gabriel still on his first stock here at 164. Another falling Nair to punish the whiff grab. And oh no, okay, Poke Lam again getting stuck in yeah. the lights. The rotary arm's gonna catch. Even after some trick, trickery uh, recovery from Poke Lam, he tried to do like a wall jump stall out and then maybe. Uh, go back to ledge of the platform, but still, Epic Gabriel doesn't care. I'm just gonna put it out a hitbox that lasts forever, and you have to yeah. avoid it. Gabe here, 168. Like I said, look at the way he plays. He's not. He's taking his time to get back on the stage. Nothing that has to be high committal. Yeah, really, Epic Gabriel is in such a safe position. He gets to play the game the way he wants to. He continues to throw out the gyro, use the laser, chill out the side. If I want to go center stage, guess what? I'm narrowing in an Epic or Pokelam is the one who's going to have to play a little bit more dangerous. Yeah. Going to have to make something happen. Nair, not enough to do it. Not not Rob, not the big boys. Yeah. This is textbook very much of when I have the lead, my opponent has to come to me. And this is a really good corner carry all the way off the stage. Pokelime on the last 81%. What a stall with that because I saw that forwarder probably looking for a confirm afterwards, narrowly missing it. Yeah. Epic Gabriel was definitely looking to see if that was going to be a fast fall or what the move was going to be from Pokemon. Wasn't expecting to land on the platform because that is a bit dangerous. There's a lot of moves that Epic Gabriel has that uh, that would have just ended the game. And you know what? Speaking of, speaking of and moves that will end the game, up smash. Epic Gabriel up smashes and wins 2-1.